Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information. MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. The second MotoGP series, to be precise, has started at the Dermas de Rio Hondo circuit. Today, as usual, there is free practice 1 and free practice 2 or FP1 FP2. I will give you the results of free practice later. After many riders experienced crashes at the Portimo circuit in Portugal last week, many riders complained during the race at the Portimo circuit, especially because of the pebbles in the gravel. This condition puts the Portimo circuit in danger of being removed from the 2024 MotoGP calendar. Some riders say that the gravel in the gravel bed is too big, so it hurts. Fabio Quartararo has even complained about this condition since the test session. Several riders who fell experienced how hard the gravel was, such as Paul Espargaro, Luca Marini, and others. Dorna Sports CEO, Carmelo Espaleta, took firm steps regarding the gravel problem. Because, this condition is directly related to the safety of the riders. As Paletta said, with the current conditions, where there are already many victims, Portimo 2024 will not be on the calendar. He said MotoGP had quite a lot of requests from other countries and circuits. Dorna also asked the management of the Portimo circuit to renovate the circuit, especially the gravel bed area, before the World Superbike, World SBK, series is held there, namely September 29 to October 1, 2023. If the gravel bed is not completely replaced, we will not have MotoGP here next year. Without fulfilling the gravel trap regulations, Autodromo will not get grade A homologation for 2024. So, they cannot be included in the MotoGP calendar, said Drorna Sports CEO, Carmelo Espaleta. Ducati Lenovo racer, Francesco Bagnaia has big ambitions at the 2023 Argentina MotoGP. This ambition came after he managed to win the sprint race and main race MotoGP Portugal 2023 last week. To note, Peco, Banhaia's nickname, made a perfect start in the first MotoGP 2023 series in Portugal. He won the first sprint in MotoGP history and was back on the podium in the main races. As a result, he is entrenched at the top of the standings with a score of 37 points. He is 12 points ahead of Aprilia Racing's Maverick Vinales, who is in second place and 21 points over Marco Bezecchi of Muni VR46 Ducati in third. Furthermore, Banyaya will perform at the 2023 Argentina MotoGP. However, Ducati has never won at all at the Termas de Rio Hondo circuit. Banyaya himself was only able to finish in fifth place after starting from 13th last season in Argentina. Therefore, this time he is determined to break the fast of victory for the Borgo Panagale factory team at Termas. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Last year, we only fasted here on Sunday. Ducati never won here, we were always lacking something. But this year, we can see if our potential is big enough to win here. It will be a different weekend than in Portugal. We didn't do any testing here and the forecast predicts rain for Friday. During the circuit tour on Wednesday, I saw the track was very dirty. So we have to be ready for anything," said Peko Banyaya, quoted from Speedweek, Friday, March 31, 2023. The Australian made a strong start to life with KTM last weekend in Portugal with 4th in the sprint and 7th in the Grand Prix, brushing aside what appeared like a difficult winter for the Austrian manufacturer. Miller is looking to become the first rider since Loris Caparase to have won races for three different manufacturers, having done so already with Honda in 2016 and Ducati in 2021 and 2022. The Australian would become just the fifth rider in history to achieve this feat, but speaking ahead of the Argentina Grand Prix this weekend, he feels the surprise that his strong KTM debut in Portugal shows people still think I lucked my way into this job. I don't know what it is, I think people still think that I luck my way into this job somehow, at some points, because I get doubted more than anybody on this grid. And to prove countless people wrong again has been amazing. It kind of gives me an extra power, 
and I think the leading guys like everybody else were surprised to see me there. It gives me an awesome sense of accomplishment to be there already with the KTM and challenge with these guys and to prove so many people wrong already is just awesome. Asked why he thinks he is doubted more than anyone else, Miller added, if I knew what it was, I'd fix it. <laughs> I don't think it's being Australian because you've had guys like Casey, Stoner, come from Australia in a long line of great Australian champions. But one way or another I'm constantly doubted, and we've been constantly able to prove people wrong throughout my career, whether it be stepping straight up from Moto3 and people saying I was going to be gone within a year, and here I am still 8 or 9 years later, still going. I was a factory Ducati rider, I was told I would never win in those colors and I managed to do that. And I've won on an underpowered Honda the first time that ever happened. But I still get doubted. It's always nice, and that alone, the sense of being able to prove people wrong and do it for yourself is awesome. On the other hand, the incident between Marc Marquez and Miguel Oliveira at the Portuguese GP still seizes up a lot of discussion, including among racers, one of which is Jack Miller. The Australian racer spoke about Mark Marquez's maneuvers at the notoriously difficult third corner of Portimo. Jack Miller did not defend the baby alien, but he explained his opinion in today's Argentina GP press conference. Now everyone is pointing fingers at Marquez. I don't want to defend him, but I think there is too much talk about him. There are boundaries that cannot be crossed, but we are here to race. We as racers have to do our best to find coherence in this sport. If you hit someone there has to be a penalty. In racing one of the goals is to understand where we have to be on the racing line," said Red Bull KTM factory racer Jack Miller. <laughs>